The new theatre was formed in 1969. Since then, for 40 years, we've been producing quality shows for the benefit of students at Nottingham. It's been a bit of a hectic ride because of the number of shows that we do. We do one each week, um, and that's an astonishing number of people who all get involved. New theatre is really unique because it's the only student-run theatre in England. And not only are we self-financed, but we're also a really successful student-run and self-financed theatre, which takes shows to Edinburgh each year and takes shows to the National Student Drama Festival each year and wins loads of awards, and we're really proud of that. This week, we're producing Rhinoceros, our latest show. Rhinoceros is a French play written by the writer Eugene Ionesco in 1959. It's about a town where, slowly but surely, everybody <laughs> begins to turn into rhinoceroses. Um, it was written as a political comment, I suppose, on the rise of fascism in pre-World War II Europe. So I chose Rhinoceros because it allows you to do a bit of comedy and a bit of tragedy in the same thing, which I really, really like doing. Uh, it's got great characters, it's got some awesome moments, and it allowed me to try a lot of new things I'd never really tried before. I hope I've brought some good performances out of the actors, I hope that it will sync well. I hope it's got a kind of a human edge to it that I don't think it comes off when reading. Uh, I like the characters a lot and I don't think you're meant to, but I do. So yeah, I hope that's come to it. Uh, the reason I staged Ranosh was the way I staged it, one, because the original description in the script is completely unfeasible, requires two or so balconies, walls collapsing, all sorts of stuff. Uh, that was just unfeasible. And the reason I staged it otherwise is because me and Matt Leventhal, who was the designer for the show, came up with an aesthetic of basing it around animation. So we based it around uh, the idea of... Um, structure and aesthetic value in it um, to build everything up on the moment and then deconstruct it in the same way in the play in the way, same way the play deconstructs all sorts of ideas. Um, no, this play's generally provided the most challenging things that I've had to do with regards to the workshop and uh, not to mention the acting, which is fairly challenging in itself as well. The most challenging thing I've had to do in the workshop... <laughs> well, this production I've had to attach wheels to, uh, to things which don't usually have wheels on them, which has been pretty tricky. Uh, the best thing about being a workshop manager... Uh, you get to deal with a load of mess, which is quite good. Um, and that's about it. <laughs> you, get a you get to boss people around a little bit. But I'm a nice guy, so I don't tend to do that. The design of Rhinoceros is placed around a virtual world um, uh, which emerges from uh, the character, um, the logician's notebook. Um, because I see him as quite a pivotal, pivotal character in Esco's sort of adoption of a very modern philosophical view, which he gets out of the piece. So that's why we've got a virtually projected set. Um, that's why things appear and disappear at random. And that's why, as you hopefully would have seen by now, um, the virtual world collapses uh, in favour um, of the sort of the hero, Beringer. Yeah, and the, the, along the same lines, the. Um the concept behind the design of the sound was very much that the place uh, is, is very much a construct in that it's created from the actor's own vocalizations, purely that and nothing else. He's calling me. Getting the get out is exactly what it says. First, you have to have a get out. You have to get everyone else's stuff out from the get previous the, show. Get, get every single bit of the old show out and clean the theatre so it's absolutely spick and span. And that normally finishes at about midnight on Saturday. And then and you then have a get in for the next yeah. show. Which in a normal theatre would start a day later, but no, no, we started but 30 seconds later. Because we have one show a week, so we have to start as soon as we have the opportunity. And so when they get in, we do whatever is necessary before the rig the next day, building the set, painting the floor. Mental. Mm. The new theatre is to me... Uh, Friendly. Oh my god, I really can't think. My life. Inspiring. <laughs> Mental. I genuinely can't think of one word. Independent. I'm way fine. Free. Challenging. <laughs> Nothing else matters. No. She can't think of words. I can't. Fantastic. Banter. 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 I don't like the word banter. <laughs> oh my god. Fresnel. Barn door. Jail. Professional. 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 <laughs> Addictive. Brilliant. <laughs> you did it for me. Not to sound too corny, but it's kind of changed my life a little bit. I can't really imagine Nottingham University without New Theatre, to be honest. The New Theatre really did shape my university experience. Um, without it, if it wasn't here, I probably would have got involved in some stuff. 
but the new theatre is what got me involved in the first place and it really did change my university career into the best years of my life. Uh, I was completely involved right from the start, uh, ended up as president and now I'm still here. Um, so uh, thumbs up to new theatre. Going dark on stage!